Good morning, oatmeal. All right, it's day four of the CT. This is where we camped last night. It's a pretty slanted campsite. Not the best campsite as far as that goes. But man, what a beautiful place to wake up. It's about 6 a.m. We're going to eat some food. And then we're going to pack our stuff up. Not necessarily in that order. And then we're going to get on down the trail. Gee, I hope Oatmeal's not out of energy already. Oatmeal, you're not out of energy already, are you? I don't think she is. I'm a little bit sore and a little bit tired. But other than that, doing pretty good. Little water break here at this bridge. Oatmeal eats the water, she doesn't drink it. Very strange. Oatmeal, you're kind of a weird kid, you know that? I ain't gonna lie, this just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better. As much as this is pretty much a fantasy come true for me, and it is all the things I'm talking about, how cool it is and how great it is and blah, blah, blah. Well, at the same time, we have had some bad stuff happen where I may or may not have said allegedly, I think it was oatmeal chasing something. Oh, it's a, it's a deer. Oatmeal! Oatmeal. You're going to get us killed. You're going to get us killed. So as I was saying, um, we've had a couple bad things happen that allegedly may have provoked me to say the brown word. Maybe a little louder than a mumble, possibly. And maybe even some other words that I can't even talk about, possibly, allegedly. We'll get to that later. How cool is that, Oatmeal? <laughs> this last section has been Wildflower City. We stopped to filter some water at this stream. We're five miles from Kenosha Pass, and we just were the first people to hike a new little segment of the trail. They kind of made a big deal out of it. It was kind of cute. They like interviewed me, and uh, one of the gentlemen was throwing the stick for Oatmeal. It's pretty fun. We had an amazing day today. Lots of wildflowers, beautiful smells, mostly downhill, through wilderness area, all kinds of aspen trees everywhere. And aspens also, oh, Oatmeal's a little tired. Aspens seem to uh, attract mosquitoes and we got this beautiful place with no mosquitoes. Well, very few mosquitoes compared to what we've been used to. And we've got great views all around here. I'll kind of show you from over here. We are four miles from Kenosha Pass, and we're gonna have a real easy day tomorrow, just hiking four miles, getting into town, eating some real food, which I'm not really that hungry for yet. And it's a good thing we don't have many mosquitoes where we're at, because yesterday, Oatmeal decided to make a doggy door in our mosquito net. And on day one, my Thermarest, the yellow one in there, got a leak in it. And I've had that thing since 2017. So a little later, I'm going to try to use the Thermarest to kind of plug this hole. Where's it at? There it is. Oh, man. Oatmeal bolted out of that hole as soon as we got to camp yesterday when a hiker came along. And Oatmeal was very, very eager to meet this gentleman, apparently. Oatmeal went out started barking freaked the guy out i don't blame him i had to yell she's friendly she's friendly but we got a new friend out of it and that's how we met a guy that calls himself red bush anywho we will see you in the morning take care